Hey, what's up guys? Sergeant Impact over here and in this video I'm going to show you the Mofi Juice Pack for the iPhone 4. Now it is available for the 3G and 3GS as well. Um, prices may vary. Um, I paid about £40 for this in the UK. If you're from the US, maybe about $80 depending on the exchange rate. So this is just a box with normal general information. Uh, I'm not going to go any further on that. The main package comes with the obviously the battery and then the slider part for the top of the case. You will get a USB cable, um, a mini USB cable, which will plug into the case to charge the case up. Now it will plug into the normal Apple charger or maybe a laptop or another computer. So very easy to do, your phone just slides into it. Um, pretty basic, so I'm going to put my iPhone in there and I'm going to show you how it works. Okay, so I've put my iPhone in our case now. It's plugged into the computer still. And just to show you, you can still connect to iTunes and charge the case at the same time. I couldn't find anything in the manual that you get about doing this. Um, maybe to damage your iPhone battery, so I'm going to charge it separately. Um, I'm just doing this to show you that you can sync to iTunes. Um, and do everything as you normally could. So we're just going to unplug it and I'm going to show you the features of this case. Now on the bottom here you may have seen the LEDs already. When it's not plugged in you can press this button down here and it will show us how much battery life is left in the case. 4 being the strongest, down to 1 being the weakest. And, um, right now I have about 60%, maybe a little bit less. On the corner here we have the button now it's on standby, the red button, um, just using the normal iPhone battery. Or if we turn it on, we get the green one and it will charge our iPhone from the case. So that's pretty sweet. The holes here in the bottom, those are the mic and the speaker holes, so they work pretty well. Now the main thing, um, I've seen a few videos about these already and the main problem people were saying or having was the cutouts are too deep for mainly the volume and the sleep button. To be honest I don't really have a problem with this, you know I've got pretty big fingers so I can press the buttons pretty easily up and down and then the sleep button. So no problems for me. I did see quite a few videos also, um, I was seeing videos saying that the side was sticking out on the right hand side. Not sure if that it was just that particular product, just that one. Well, mine seems to be okay. You got the nice straight edges down there. And down there as well. Seems to be straight enough. No real problems on that side. So, if we turn the case around, um, we can see the camera cutouts here, which is pretty open, it's got a nice beveled effect going down here just to allow the flash to kind of develop. Now I've got a few cases and when I've been taking photos on my other cases I've had like a kind of glare effect around the photos and it looks rubbish so you know I've kind of stopped using those ones but this I've been taking a few photos on this one and it, I've had no problems with it so far. The back is black obviously and it's kind of a soft touch, it's not glass, it's not plastic, I'm not sure what the materials are but the manual says kind of soft touch and it is very nice so it's going to take a while before that gets scratched. Now the main thing I do like about this is it's curved, kind of like the 3G and 3GS. As we all know the iPhone 4 is flat and well to be honest I do prefer the feel of the 3G and 3GS so this is a major plus point for me also the battery life um, we know we can turn the case on but if you're a heavy themer like myself you got lots of themes running you've got animations and everything your iPhone battery doesn't last that long so this case for me hopefully improves it in the future um, as we can see we've got the Elite Pro HD Envision Springboard with the Live OS weather you can get these themes from Cydia and Themeit but um, I've got other videos on those and um, well I think that's covered all of the case. You can come follow me on Twitter. Um, I will have a link in the video description to that. 
And um, well, if you've got any more queries about the case or any problems, just hit me up in the comment box and I'll try and get back to you when I can. And uh, that's all I've got time for. So don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.